So as part of my continued dust collection work, let me give you a recap on what we've got going. I got my dust collection mounted on the wall, got my hose set up, got my thine separator in a plastic trash bin, which will eventually move to a fiber bin. So today what I'm going to work on is getting some more runs made. I've got a splitter that I'll end up using, I've got three blast gates that I'm going to use, and I just picked up a bunch of this drain pipe. This is the really thin walled stuff. It's 10 feet long, uh, very thin walled, so it's easy to work with. It's cheap. It's only like 10 bucks a piece at Home Depot for 10 feet. And I'm going to end up figuring out a way to run it along the ceiling for a drop of my table saw, and then also a couple of runs for my bandsaw, my joiner, and my planer, which belongs over on that wall as well. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. Because I'm using this thinner drain pipe, they don't really make fixtures, elbows, couplers for this type of pipe. I was attempting to use heat to bend the pipe, but this stuff is just too thin and it actually just wants to buckle on itself. So what I'm gonna do is just use flex hose for my joints. I need a 45 degree elbow there. I'm gonna use some of the flex hose. I'm gonna use flex hose to go between the three-way splitter and my thine separator. Where I'm using flex hose, it's gonna be very short runs, except for when it comes off the end of the pipe, and that's where I'll have flex hose to go to the actual tools. So here's where I'm at. In order to ensure that my pipe hangers are secure, I'm having to span my studs, since I've got sprinkler systems and everything that are on the studs, I can't put the pipe right on it and that actually works well because I've got space behind it to run electrical my bandsaw electrical will run behind it it also gives me space to wrap copper wire around here in order to eliminate static I've got the horizontal with a blast gate on it I'm working on the vertical that's gonna go up to the ceiling run over to my table saw and then I will work on the other straight one that's gonna come out for the other tools on the right hand side I've got the horizontal Going across the ceiling comes just shy of my garage door opener so I can get an elbow in there and then hook a flexible hose up to that to drop down to the middle. I opted not to do, I was going to put a piece sitting at a 45 and then flex hose from there to it and then from the 45 down, but I think I'll get a better bend and better flow if I do just flex hose straight from here up to there to keep the angles at a minimum. So here's the current solution. Flex hose clamped up top. It's got a nice bend in it. It's kind of hard to tell what the bend is on camera. It's not too significant. Got the hose for there, for the top and bottom. Both are nice, smooth, flowing bends. And then I'll do the connection to the thine separator. All right, baby steps. I've got the blast gates in. This one goes to the table saw. This one goes to the band saw. This one goes over there for now, which eventually will be for the jointer and the planer. Workshop is an absolute mess now, as I've been <laughs> having to move things and move things multiple times. Table saw is now hooked up, goes up to the ceiling. I'll get an elbow for there so I get a better bend. That's a pretty sharp 90 degree right now, but I need an elbow for it. That goes all the way across the ceiling. And then down and tested it out and so far so good everything works great okay got the bandsaw hooked up got the hose running over here that's gonna be for the joiner and the planer and for vacuuming out the workshop got this all completed so I'm gonna give my final update on the dust collection I ran the copper wiring, and I don't know if you can see it too well down there, ran it around all the plastic pipe. I even ran it along some of the flex pipe just to get from one plastic pipe to the next. It doesn't necessarily need to be on the flex pipe, but I used short screws to go into the pipe just enough so it pierces the inside, and the screws have flat heads on them so they don't catch on to uh, material running through the pipes. I did run it over that flex pipe all along this hard pipe and then it terminates 
right here. I did not run it along this flex pipe. I didn't think that was too necessary. Down below, I've got it running along that horizontal pipe as well. That long flex pipe does not have any copper wire running along it. It's not necessary. But once all the copper is all tied together, ran it across the wall next to that electrical wire. And then I ran it inside the switch box on the motor. And it is attached to the same ground as the switch ground is attached to. I ran the entire system for a couple of days and I have seen absolutely zero static. Super simple, super effective, and it will really help to minimize any fine dust collection due to static. Alright, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.